Coach, I'm looking at Oklahoma State, what has changed for them over the last few weeks in which they've struggled so much offensively? Well, you know, I, I don't know. There's all that dialogue. I remember there's a lot of dialogue about Oklahoma struggling on offense, and they had, you know, 8,000 yards against us. So, you know, I don't buy into all that stuff. You know, somebody played very well defensively against them. Uh, I think they're, you know, they've had some injuries uh, that uh, have impacted them on offensive line and running back. Um, I, I don't know. You know, I, I don't know if, you know, if they feel that they're not doing as well as they um, should be. That's, they know more about that than I, I look at them, and I think they're pretty good. Coach, what is it about Tyree Kill that allows him to be just kind of a playmaker for them? Well, he's the fastest man in the world, I think. That was probably what makes most of it happen. I mean, he's extremely fast. He runs 10, 100 meters. You know, that's world-class speed. So he's being run. I mean, is there something that, you know, just maybe promotes him to, to having such a, a good impact in, in his first year? I'm not sure what Well, I mean, just, I mean, is there a certain skill set, you know, besides the speed? He doesn't need anything else. You just give him the ball and he outruns anybody that's on the field. That's pretty simple. Uh, he's, you know, he, he can play in the backfield, he can play as a wide receiver so he can catch the ball. Uh, I'm worried about him throwing the ball because we're going to have to put 14 guys out there to run him down. You know. Anyway, yeah, he's, he, he, he's a good player and he's awfully fast and, and he's versatile enough to be able to play multiple positions. Do you guys, do you buy the guys then after something like that? After a shutout? Are you kidding me? <laughs> 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 he, he, he. Uh, uh, the release here came out today about the opening of the residence halls. How did that come about? You and John doing that? Well, it was just the idea that, you know, the scheduling, if you will. Uh, and and I have, and I say schedule. I mean, everybody's going to do it. But playing over that Thanksgiving, uh, you know, that we're hard pressed to, uh, you know, feel as though we would have a, a significant uh, crowd of student of our student body uh, because of the cost of opening the dorms that they wouldn't have a place to stay if they came back for the ball games. You know, I, I know they'd want to come back for the ball games. I think the vast majority of them that can and could, and they're close enough, but uh, with the dorms being closed, they took uh, additional amount of money to open them up, so. I'm curious, so in, in your schedule, how did you become aware of this situation? Well, uh, John brought, brought it to my attention. Ron, John or uh, Clint wanted to. Did they try to get you to pay the whole thing first? <laughs> <laughs> no, they didn't. <laughs>